फ्रेंड्स प्लीज नोट डाउन दिस नोट्स हैव बीन अपलोडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वीडियो प्लीज डाउनलोड योर नोट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर ऑफ डेवलपमेंटल बायोलॉजी टुडे वी विल क्लियर एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियोनिक कोड्स और एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियोनिक मेम्ब्रेन और फीटल मेम्ब्रेन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियोनिक कोड्स द वर्टिब्रेट्स आर ग्रुप्ड इन टू कैटेगरीज एमनियोट्स एंड एन एमनियोट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन केस ऑफ एमनियोट्स दिस एम्ब्रियो एंड इट इज वेल सराउंडेड बाई एन अम्ब्रेला शिफ्ट दिस इनर आर्क इट इज एमनियो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस अम्ब्रेला लाइक स्ट्रक्चर और दिस इनर आर्क विच सराउंड द एम्ब्रियो दीज वर्टिब्रेट्स आर एमनियोट्स while in case of n amniotes like fasces and amphibians this inner arc or amnion is absent so the fasces and amphibians are placed in n amniotes dear students in case of amniotes like reptiles birds and mammals these extra embryonic coats are of four types first type is amnio here the embryo is surrounded by this inner arc which is umbrella like coat and this one is amnion which is formed by outer mesoderm and inner ectoderm this amnio which encloses a cavity that is amniotic cavity and that cavity having a fluid which is amniotic fluid that prevent prevents desiccation of embryo dear students second coat is second extra embryonic membrane that is chorion and this chorion it is outer arc and this chorion which is formed by outer ectoderm and inner mesoderm the third extra embryonic coat that is yolk sac Now down the yolk sac. That is a characteristic feature of all amniotes and n amniotes. This yolk sac, which is here, look in this embryo. It is embryo of scoliodo. It is cartilaginous fish, the dog fish. It is viviparous. and here this yolk sac acts as a reservoir of yolk dear students this yolk sac involves in exchange of certain materials between the white line blood vessel of this embryo and blood vessels of uterus of female it means this yolk sac in case of fishes amphibians it involves in the formation of yolk sac placenta not down this yolk sac acts as a reservoir of yolk it means it acts as an extra embryonic gut dear students through this yolk sac exchange of certain material takes place between vital line vessels of embryo and blood vessels of uterus of female here in case of amniotes this yolk sac it is formed by outer mesoderm and inner endoderm but here in case of an amniotes like fish and amphibians this yolk sac it is formed by ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm it means all three germ layers are involved in the formation of this yolk sac in case of an amniotes no doubt in reptiles and birds this yolk sac it involves in exchange of gases it acts as extra embryonic lung that involves in respiration while in case of mammals in case of human beings 
दिस योग सैक इट इज ग्रेटली रिड्यूस्ड इट मीन्स इन केस ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स द योग सैक कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम स्टूडेंट नॉट डाउन दिस योग सैक इज नॉन फंक्शनल इट एक्स एज ए वेस्टिजियल ऑर्गन एंड दिस योग सैक very important very important this yolk sac involves in the formation of blood cells in early stages of embryo it means it acts as a hemopoietic tissue like liver which involves in the formation of blood cells fourth type is and that extra embryonic cord that is allantois dear students allantois it is a strap it is strictly a characteristic feature of amniotes like reptiles birds and mammals this allantois which is formed by outer mesoderm and inner antoderm no doubt this allantois along with this outer coat chorion produce Allantochorion placenta in case of mammals like eutherians. Dear students, this fourth extra embryonic coat which is allantois, and it involves along with this chorion to produce a placenta. It is allantoic placenta or it is allantochorionic placenta. And this allantois. in case of human beings again it is non functional it is a vestigial organ it is greatly reduced and this allantois in case of human beings it involves in furnishing in the formation of blood vessels of placenta dear students this allantois in case of reptiles in case of birds and in case of early primate in early mammals prototherians acling mammals this allantois it involves in excretion it removes it stores uric acid dear students it means this allantois acts as extra embryonic kidney and its basal part basal part of this allantois acts as urinary bladder dear students in case of reptiles and birds this allantois also involves in exchange of gases while in case of human beings this allantois which is greatly reduced it is non functional and it involves in furnishing the blood vessels of placenta this is all about extra embryonic cords or fetal mammaries which are of four types in case of amniotes like reptiles birds and mammals four types of extra embryonic cords this outer cord this outer arc that is chorion which is formed by outer ectoderm and inner mesoderm and the embryo which is surrounded by this umbrella like this inner arc it is amnio which is strictly a characteristic feature of terrestrial life megalocytal eggs having heavy amount of yolk and this amnion which encloses a cavity amniotic cavity that is filled with amniotic fluid that involves in the movements of this embryo as well as the amniotic fluid which prevents desiccate desiccation of embryo and this third extra embryonic coat which is yolk sac yolk sac is also found in fishes and amphibians in anamniotes but not down this yolk sac in case of amni and amniotes it is formed by ectoderm mesoderm endoderm while this yolk sac in case of amniotes it is formed by outer mesoderm and inner endoderm this allantois which along with this chorion produce allantochorion placenta or allantoic placenta that involves in exchange of certain substances exchange of gases and this allantois in case of reptiles it involves in excretion it acts as extra embryonic kidney and its basal part which acts as urinary bladder but in case of human beings this allantois that is greatly reduced like this yolk sac in human beings both yolk sac and 
allantois are non-functional. This yolk sac acts as hemopoietic tissue in early stages of embryo, so it acts as a liver. And dear students, in case of human beings, this allantois, it involves in furnish, furnishing the blood vessels of 